Bora, Zu. Hi, guys. Welcome to today's lesson on how to play the kind of rhythm sections from Do You Know What I Mean? Um, off Be Here Now. Firstly, I apologise if I'm a bit sniffly. It's, uh, I've just got a little bit of a cold. Well, not too bad, but just a little bit of a cold. Secondly, capo second fret. Kind of classic Oasis feel, this one. A lot of the chords that you come to expect. There's a couple of points in this song where there's two different guitars doing the same chords, but sometimes slightly different rhythms. I'll try and explain that as I go, okay? But it does get a little bit confusing when you're listening to it, exactly which guitar is doing which sometimes. Um, other than that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, play through the sections, either the whole section or just a snippet of the section, um, depending on the bit, and then go through that section um, kind of slower later. So a bit like I do with my solo. So anyway, I'm waffling, so let's crack on. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the intro, and I'm basically just gonna play the intro through all the way at somewhere in and around tempo, which is 82 BPM. Okay, let's go. Okay, super bunged up, but let's go. So, I think that is played on an acoustic guitar actually in the song, but I just grabbed my electric guitar so I can do everything on this with uh, no uh, kind of confusion. So, that's basically the intro as played through. So the first um, six bars are the same sequence, and then you've got the final bar at the end. This first um, sequence is one we're gonna do a lot of. So what I'm doing is I'm playing an E minor seven. I'm doing it the traditional uh, Oasis way. Now, this is one of those things where it's very hard to tell whether he has his pinky on that third fret on the E string or not. I'll move so you can see that a little bit better. Uh, but I I've been playing it with it on. So it'll be second fret A, second fret D, third fret B, third fret E. I'm gonna play down, 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 up. Now I'm going to move to G, I'm going to go down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, okay, so first two bar, uh, sorry, first bar, so down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, okay, now I'm going to do a D sus 2, which is with the, that E string ringing open. Okay, so second fret on the G, third fret on the B. I should really adjust where I'm sitting because that's a much better position to what to see the chords. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do there is play down, up, down, up, down, down, up. And then for my A sus four, second fret D, second fret G, third fret B, open E, I'm gonna play down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So that second bar is gonna be D sus two, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Then for that A sus four, just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so let me just play through that sequence really nice and slowly, okay? So it's gonna be this. You do that three times exactly like that. Um, and then what you do is you're gonna play C add nine. Okay, so I always like to have my finger on the pinky there as well. So that'd be thir uh, third fret A, second fret D, third fret B and E. I'm gonna play down, 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 up. Then I'm gonna move to D sus two again. Two, one, two, three downs. Then I'm gonna hit the A sus four shape and then strum that and just let it ring out for a bar. Okay, so that final bit would be. Okay, so the other little bits in the intro, it sounds like there's probably a an open kind of E string right near the beginning with the capo on. And then what's basically happening, dead hits with a wah-wah. So you're just going, you're basically just going down, up, 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 and then you're moving the wah open and closed, basically. 
and then you've got that little drum pickup, and then you're into that strumming section. Uh, right before the uh, verse kicks in, the, one of the guitars just plays what is effectively 12th fret now because we've got the capo on, and it's just up there. That's one on the E, two on the B, and then two on the G on what is now the uh, 12th fret, but looks like is actually the 14th fret because I've got my cafe second fret. And yeah, that is the intro section. Next, I'm going to do the verse, and all I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to play through the one time, which is a two bar sequence, and then we'll just talk about how many times we do it in each bit. Okay, I'll see you in a sec. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the verse. The more eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed it is exactly the same as the sequence I did in the intro. And that's because it is. E minor 7 shape again, down, 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 up. G shape, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Same rhythm on the D sus too. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Then on the A sus4, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. I think it's playing the electric. It definitely uh, sounds like more electric-y than acoustic-y. Um, but again, it's hard to tell because it's quite low in the mix. And uh, not low in the mix, there's quite a lot going on in the mix. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm just talking rubbish. So, yeah, that's basically, that's it. That's the, the verse sequence. It's a two-bar sequence. So, in verse one, in verse the first... We play it through six times, just like that, basically. Six times through of the verse. In the subsequent verses, verses two and three, we play it through four times, okay? So it's six times in the first verse because we actually go verse one straight into verse two. So you end up effectively doing it 10 times in a row because you go verse one six times and then verse two four times, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. And then the next section we're going to have is the pre-chorus. So with the pre-chorus, I will, I think I will just try and play it through for you guys and hopefully that'll make sense and then we'll go through that. That was the pre-chorus. Nice, interesting chord sequence here. Uh, yeah, so you could just strum this through with this same rhythm, but I'm throwing in slightly different, particularly for this first chord. So what is this first chord? It's an E sus4 shape. So basically I'm gonna play that with my middle finger, my ring finger, my pinky, but you don't specifically have to. It's just easier because the next chord I'm gonna to go to is E major. Can you see that? It's so hard to get these chords in a nice position, isn't it? Anyway, so second fret on the A, second fret on the D, and second fret on the G is my first chord there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do there is I actually play the open E string twice with two downs. So I'm going to give it a big strum, down again, then a little up flick. That's my first chord, down, 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 up. Then I'm going to do effectively the same rhythm on an E major chord, 2nd fret A, 2nd fret D, 1st fret G. Um, like that, down, 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 up. Okay, so... That's my first bar. Second bar, D sus2, our old friend already. Down, 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 up. Then I'm going to go to an A major. Not an A sus4, just an A major. And I'm going to play down, down, up, down, down. Okay, so that's second bar. Down, 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 up. And then the A, down, down, up, down, down. So you end up with this for those first two bars really slowly. So first first bar is going to be three downs and an up for the first two chords, okay? For the for the two chords. Come on, Paul. Bar two. Okay, so that's it nice and slowly. We're basically going to do that through 
three times, just like that. Whoop. Then the final two bars, C major seven shape, it's technically a D major seven because I've got the capo on second fret, but that's the shape. Down, 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 up. Then a normal D major, what? Yeah, just a normal D major. Down, up, down, down, down. It's a cool bar, that one, so I'll do it slowly. Then just an A major again. Down, 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 up. And then I'm just gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So it should be seven strums starting on an up. Okay, so those final two bars. That is our pre-chorus. Now, I should say, when we go back through that the next time, we actually throw on another bar of A exact, with exactly the same rhythm. So first time, it's just one bar of that A shape at the end there. The second time, it's two bars of that A shape, okay? Just a little note that you can make. It's not, you know, you're, if you know the song really well, it won't be uh, hard for you to do, but that is basically what they are doing, okay? So we've got pretty well far so far. We've got intro, verse one, verse two, pre-chorus. What do you have after a pre-chorus? Yep, that's right, chorus. So I'll try and play through that. Again, I'm probably just going to play it through as a two-bar sequence, and then we'll talk about how many times we do that. So we'll do that next. Okay, so that was me just playing it through um, kind of somewhere near tempo. Uh, it's a pretty simple section, but I should say this is the bit that's really uh, co complicated because there are two guitars doing effectively the same chords with slightly different rhythms. So what I did was was the one that I just would naturally play. Um, so let's go through the chords and we'll go through those two rhythms, but this was the main rhythm, the one I just played there. Um, e minor, down, 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 up. That's the same on all the guitars that are playing it. E minor, just so not an E minor seven, just a normal E minor, down, 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 up. You could do an E minor seven, it'd sound cool. So, but that's what it sounds like to me. Then a G. Now this is where it changes. I just played down um, eight strums, which down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, you could go down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Okay, so I did this. Pretty simple, uh, but you could also go whichever of those two you prefer, you feel free. Uh, and then the D sus two, it's still a D sus two, this is the same on both of them. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So just the same just the same as we do it in the intro, effectively. Then for the A chord, so just a normal A, not an A sus four, I'm just gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And again, it sounds like uh, another guitar might be doing something very, very similar, but just missing that final up strum. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So it'd be this. Okay, so feel free to do whichever of those you prefer. I've gone through both. Uh, it's just a matter of deciding. As I say, the one that you heard is the one that I'd naturally play. I think it's just easier to play as much as anything, but either of them work absolutely fine. So let me just play that through really, really slowly. So. Two. Three. Okay, so that was through nice and slowly. So how many times did we do that? So effectively we do that six times. Okay, so effectively that's six times through that sequence, whichever of those um, strumming patterns you want to do, very, very, very similar, though they are, they are slightly different. And we're going to do that through six times for our first chorus. Then we've got the first very short solo. We basically play that chorus through a couple of times. And that's what we play underneath that first solo. Then we go back and do verse three, four times through the verse sequence. Then we do the pre-chorus exactly the same, except for we add on that second bar of A. So not exactly the same. We add on the second bar of A. Then we do the chorus literally exactly the same, six times through whichever rhythm you prefer. Um, and then we've got uh, another solo. Um, which is basically the chorus through three times and then a slightly different rhythm. So what we'll do is we'll just go through that because it's very similar to the outro one.
Okay, so that's um, the sequence. We actually played this through um, what I've cleverly called Solo 2. So as I said, it's basically it's three times through the chorus and then this sequence is very similar to the outro sequence, which we'll do in a sec. C major 7 shape, down, 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 up. D sus 2 with three downs. Then C major 7 with a down. Then for the next bar, I'm going to go up, down, 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 up. Then we go back and do the same thing again. Down, down, down on the D sus 2. C major 7, down, up, down, 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 up. D sus 2, down, down, down. A sus 4, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Down, and then um, it's going to be up, sorry, down, up, uh, yeah, down, up. Down, up, down. Yeah, down, up, down, up. Up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. So that final bar is very similar to the one we do at the end of the pre-chorus, effectively. Very, very, very complicated to get that strumming exactly right. It's probably easy just to listen to it and try and play along, but that is what the strumming section is as I played it through uh, earlier. I think I got it right. Let's hope so, anyway. Uh, but yeah, something in that vicinity will get you in the right place. And so that is what we do over that second solo. And then um, the, the kind of the final main solo kicks in, uh, which is four times through um, the chorus. Yeah, it's just four times through the chorus. And, and that's the bit with the wah-wah solo. It's a really cool solo, actually. Um, yeah, so that's... Uh kind of jazz uh, yeah that's um, that's the next solo four times through the chorus and then next thing we'll do is the outro threw in the arpeggios there as well because I really really like them but before we get there we're going to play through the chorus just the same as before there are two those two different rhythms you know take your pick again eight times through the chorus uh, that two bar chord, chorus sequence and then we're into the final bit obviously that C major 7 to D sus 2 bit is effectively the same as we did it before we do C major 7 down 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 up D sus 2 three downs C major 7 down up down down, down, up. Back to the D sus two. Down, down, down. C major seven. Down, up, down. Down, down, up. D sus two. Three downs. E minor. Okay, and the arpeggios are basically us just playing through those two chord shapes. So we actually play three, two, zero. Then we're going to play five, four, zero, three. Zero. Sorry, that's so. Three on the A, two on the D, and then open G, I should say. And then the same strings for five, four, zero. Five on the A, four on the D, and then open G, and then just repeat that. Love that. Really cool ar arpeggios at the end. And that's the end of the song. I think I've gone through most of the bits in it. There's so many different guitars and overdubs. There's loads going on in this song. It's a relatively long video, but I've probably missed out bits as well. But hopefully it will give you a good um, idea of how this song goes. I, my plan to go through all the different solos as well at some point. So hopefully uh, those videos will be up relatively soon. They're not too bad solos to learn by any stretch, so I will get on that. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it useful. Yeah, it's uh, it's a really uh, it's a quite a long song with loads of different sections. So hopefully I've managed to cut through it a little bit. I tried to listen to what people said when I did uh, Master Plan, which is a similar idea, quite long, quite a lot of different sections. And I've tried to play through each section before I teach the section, and then play through the sections again slower as I'm going through them. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you can hear it at a couple of different tempos. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully it works for you guys and uh, yeah uh, if you do like it please like the video it really helps um, 
I'd also appreciate if you commented on the video, if you subscribe to the channel, those things really, really help. I say at the end of every video. Uh, and I'll see you guys again soon for some more Oasis, probably. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.